We often talk about the huge vastness of our surrounding space, the hundreds of billions of stars inside our Milky Way, the insanely large distances between celestial objects and our Earth, such as Antares, the Andromeda Galaxy. HD1, a galaxy considered to be the most distant and earliest galaxy identified in the observable universe. But how about we dive a little bit deeper, exploring the secrets of the third brightest star system of the night sky, and most importantly, an incredibly close object to us. Through even a small telescope, the single star that we see as Alpha Centauri revolves into a double star, called respectively Alpha Centauri A and B. This pair is just 4.37 light years away from us. But the third member of the group, orbiting around them, separated from the other two by a considerable distance, is Alpha Centauri C, or as it's officially known as, Proxima Centauri, too faint to be visible to the naked eye. Being only 4.24 light years from our neighborhood, Proxima holds the precise distinction of closest. Despite its proximity to us, Proxima is quite dim, partly because it outputs much of its energy at infrared wavelengths, which are invisible to the human eyes. The star can be found in the Centaurus constellation, the centaur is a Greek mythological half-man, half-horse creature, and Proxima is Latin for next or nearest. Orbiting around Proxima, there are two, possibly three planets. The first planet discovered is Proxima b, an Earth-like sides planet, first discovered in 2016. Much closer to its star is Proxima d, less than a third smaller than our Earth, discovered in 2019. There is, then, a candidate third planet lurking much, much further out than the previous two. Proxima C. About seven times more massive than the Earth. To put its massive orbit into perspective, Proxima C orbit around its star Proxima is equivalent to the orbit of Neptune around the Sun. In addition to being Earth-like in size and being very close, astronomically speaking, Proxima b is among the most likely candidates for the pursuit of life as we know it. The planet, in fact, orbits in the so-called habitable zone a region of space that, under certain conditions, allows the existence of water in the liquid form. In fact, although being very close to its star, the exoplanet revolves around a red dwarf, a type of relatively small and cold star. This allows, at least in the sunniest areas, to have temperatures that allow the presence of liquid water on the surface which means it has the possibility of hosting signs of organic life. Now, four light years seems nothing compared to the immense distances of other celestial objects that we hear on a regular basis, but let's not forget that we're still talking about 40 trillion kilometers. But even so, because of the star's relatively close proximity to Earth, Proxima Centauri has been proposed as a flyby destination for interstellar travel. With the current technology, the flight of a spacecraft to Proxima Centauri and its planets would require thousands of years. For example, Voyager 1, traveling at 17 km per second, launched in 1977 and about 20 billion kilometers from Earth, would reach Proxima Centauri in 73,000 years. Numerous companies are trying to come up with new solutions in order to shrink down the time needed for interstellar travel. 
Project Starshot aims to reach the Alpha Centauri system within the first half of the 21st century, with microprobes about the same size as a postage stamp traveling at 20% the speed of light. The probes would perform a flyby of Proxima Centauri to take photos and collect data of its planet's atmospheric compositions. Since radio waves travel at the speed of light, it would still take four and a half years for the information collected to be sent back to Earth.